Hi, my name's Bill Brayton, and in the March 2019 Gears magazine, I wrote an article about the 10R80 torque converter. And in this edition of Gears Overdrive, we're going to take a look at that converter, which I have right here. Now, there's a couple of things here before we take it apart, because I've already had it previously cut open. You'll notice that you can hear that rattling around, and there's almost a quarter inch of play in here. Don't worry guys, gals, that's normal. Okay, so let's take the cover off. And we can see that we've got four flats here and a bushing in the cover for the, uh, for the stator support assembly. So we'll just set that aside for right now. And the first thing we notice with this converter is the clutch lining is staring up at us. So that means that the, the clutch lining is in between the turbine and the transmission. And, and that's a really a new setup because ever since lock converter clutches have been around, uh, they've been in between the engine and the turbine. And it's uh, always had pressure pushing towards the engine. And on this one, it's actually pushing back towards the unit. So we have our converter clutch lining here and our apply surface right here. Okay, and, and it looks like a curved setup. We'll get to that in just a second, but, but I'm gonna show you that it's not. So this is uh, the stator, just pretty standard stuff with it facing up. It uh, rotates counterclockwise. I haven't taken this washer off because I don't want to break it. Uh, not sure if it pries off, but uh, if you're feeling adventurous, give it a shot, but don't break it because you probably can't buy these washers anywhere just yet. Notice also there's no washer in between the uh, turbine itself and the stator. There's just the aluminum face here and the steel face right here. So that's the uh, cover and the uh, stator. Now let's take a look, lift this up and out of here so we can now see that bevel, that bevel right there, and what quite an angle that is. And let's take our uh, machinist straight edge here and you could see, uh, can you get that? And so it's a, uh, Oh, really? It's a flat surface. There's no, there's no curvature. There's no curvature right here to this, uh, to this area. So we, uh, and it's got a, got a uh, like a Teflon coated bushing right in here. I don't think those are available, or they're going to need to be made if they're worn out. So, so let's flip this over, and we've got this ginormous damper assembly that goes to this splines right to the input shaft. And you can see it's all loosey goosey and, and, and that's quite normal. So that's don't, don't go replacing these parts or the converter because this is loose. This is just the way they're built right from the factory. So and the reason why this is so big is because, well, let's take a look. The, the actual thickness of the converter is the, the turbine and the stator and the, the impeller is so small is because the, the converter doesn't spend a lot of time being a torque converter, okay? Uh, in the magazine article, there's a um, solenoid firing chart and it shows that this converter clutch is applied in second gear all the way to 10th gear. So, it doesn't spend a great deal of time and, and the one, two shift happens very quickly at, at less than 15 miles an hour. So, and then this will come directly on. Uh, and the reason why is that the more time it's spending being a torque converter, the less fuel mileage there is. And so if we lock this up in a one to one basis, uh, you know, this dampener comes into full play now, taking up the engine, by, engine pulses at that low engine RPM. So, so that's a, a look at the stator, which goes back on here. And then we have the cover, which bolts 
to the with studs to the engine and a real small pilot here this may be a problem we haven't seen them break off just yet but boy I, I think that that might be an issue and there's a, a bushing area in here this is this is not removable it this is where the uh, the uh, dampener rides right right inside of here there's no ceiling rings there's no ceiling rings in the whole thing so that's the uh the cover and the stator so uh this is going to present a challenge for all you torque converter rebuilding guys because of the way that this is mounted to this flat surface uh, I would think that they're gonna, we uh, are going to have to come up with a way to, to uh, put the pressure on it because that pressure's got to be square to that kind of an angle. So that's going to be, uh, be something for the torque converter rebuilding and industry to uh, uh, tackle that make it very interesting. So that's uh, in the 10R8010 speed and uh, that's a look at the torque converter. So, my name's Bill Brayton, and thank you for watching Gears Overdrive.